All right, we're back for part 17, and we just found the key, and apparently we've just found out that we're going to have to dress up as zombies. And uh, we're flipping out, aren't we? Yep. The key to the rare book selection. Rare book selection. Is that over here? Other side. What? That one door that was locked way on the other side. Back at the library. Something has tried to break in. Oh, yeah, Corey's right. That door that was locked from the beginning. The one that I said, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, and then tried to change doors. And... These long hallways are a bummer. Because I'm leaving. I'm leaving, 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 I'm leaving. Go, 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 go. not it, but I thought that was a good idea, though. What? What's that door locked from? Isn't there another locked door? Down where the library is. Around that corner. Around the corner? Yeah. Where? This way to the left. I think. There's those two doors, and then down here and left again is another door, isn't there? Right there. Oh, yeah. Good thinking, Corey. I didn't even think about that. This is, must be the rare book selection. It's gotta be in here. This book we're looking for, it, it almost has to be in here. Look for shiny books. There's one. Scholars are divided on the origin of these practitioners. As their template temples are spread all over Europe, most prominent among their theories are that the religions sprung from early Persian and Zoroastrian religions. Few materials survive from the early centuries, and they have no public ceremonies, instead offering to worship in s inside their Mithraeum. Many of these temples, sunken below the ground and willowless, widow windowless, remain hidden to this day. Their rituals can concentrated on sacred religions, icons, through materials, and unclear about their exact shape. That helped me nothing again! That better not be it. Right. No? Not one. Really? That's all that's freaking in here? Are you jacking me right now? Amnesia, are you freaking jacking me? Corey, is it jacking me? I think it's jacking me. It's friggin' jacking me. It's jacking you. There's so much for rare books. I'd throw a bitch fit. I'm, I'm just about to throw a bitch fit. Maybe something's gonna happen now. Like, uh, that guy will break down that door for me. Check one last time. No shiny books. Or paper? No shiny books or paper. No shiny books or... Is that a shiny book? No. No shiny books there. No shiny books right there. Nothing there. Nothing ever... Oh, I can move the shelf! I, I can't, I can't, I can't. That, that wall's... There's a hole in the wall. Off of the freaking light load. Maybe it's a book lever. I think it is. Oh, that one right there. No. There's one right there. You know, I have to pull a switch in here. Yeah, there, ha there has to be all a the books. Get it off. I like Kenny's idea. All the books get off my shelves. It's gotta be a button. I'm gonna close this door. Put your lantern away. Oh yeah, good idea. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay. Um. Oh. Let's stay in there. And now we just need a rock or something. 
to use your chisel and hammer? No. No, usually when there's just a C in there. Usually when there's just Usually when it's just a hole in the wall like that, you can throw something heavy at it, but I don't think books are heavy enough. Can you throw something through that hole? What do you mean? Can you throw something through to hit that broke that wooden gate? I'm thinking something's gonna pop up and like look at me eye to eye in that thing. I gotta find something heavier to throw. That base. Like a like a like a rock. One of those knight's helmets? I was thinking that, but I really don't want to go back there. Put your acid stuff on it. No. There's nothing really heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go find something heavy. He's banging around. Nuts. So what can you see through the hole? Yeah. What can you see? I can see a door that has a latch on it. That's it. Get my sniper out. Yeah. Um, try throwing them, get something, grab it, and go up to the hole and try and throw it through. No. We need to find something heavier. Like a rock. You guys, remember, you guys remember seeing like a rock? No. I remember seeing... Oh, a board. That board that was laying on the ground. Oh, That's way the ball's over here, though. That hammer. Yeah. Let's check in this room. A chair? Maybe. God damn it. Fucking chair. I'm so bad. Yeah, yeah, for Never wooden chairs. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Bring the gum. Book, 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 book. The long clock. With the help of the great engineers at the circle, my greatest creation has been realized. I have a clock that ticks once a year. The first dial advances at midnight on December thirty-first. The second dial advances at the beginning of the new s of the new century. The clock will keep time accurately for the next ten thousand years. I have built not to record what regular people perceive as time, but what the universe perceives as deep time. This clock will continue to tick after I've died, after my family has disappeared from existence, and civilization has risen and fallen. Buried beneath the library, the gears have be have been crafted from the finest metals to resist corrosion over the centuries. The steam systems is pressurized by the weight of the drivers, which must be which must be wound for the clock to display the proper time. When the drivers are raised, the clock is wound, and the gears will adjust the clock to display the correct year, regardless of how long it's been unwound. So we have a big clock and a checkpoint door and an unbarricaded door. I'm gonna probably lead back to somewhere. Oh fuck. Oh jeez, it just locked me in here. Well, might as well enjoy your stay in here. I'm gonna cut the video.